finally the wait is over we are done with all the theoretical part regarding the migration concept and assessment concept and all the relevant theory now uh, we have started the demonstration today we'll do the assessment demonstration and in next video it would be migration assessment migration demonstration where is my mind <laughs> all right guys uh, so my name is Arun and let's get started so I'm on my Azure portal this is my lab and here you need to type Azure migrate once you click on Azure migrate just like this Azure migrate then you need to create the migration project that is the very first thing that we do just wanted to tell you I have created uh, a little lab and completed the assessment I'm just uh, taking you through all the steps and the configuration because otherwise it would have taken a lot of time okay so this is what we do we create the migration project just like that we need to provide the resource group project name and the geography this is what we were talking about in previous videos here we have the geographies okay so uh, let's go to the migration project which has which I have already created I can tell you it is right here this is the migration project <clears throat> it looks like this you need to click on access and migrate service and let's go ahead with the other features we have access and migrate database option here and we can explore more which are web apps data box and VDIs but we need this which is the most frequent use option access and migrate servers let's click here and once we click here the, we need to go ahead and select tools okay I have selected the Azure migrate server assessment tool all right uh, let me show you how actually we can do that so if I click here I can create one more project <coughs> Test project okay see that's how it is select assessment tool so your project contains these things the geography where you are placing your project in and the tool that you want to select I have selected the native tool Azure migrate server assessment and we have all these ISV tools cloud amaze Cornet device with any tool you can use and it will follow the same practice that native tool follows okay these are ISV tools which has already we have already covered this part and if I go and this is not like mandatory you need to choose any tool if you're only looking for the migration let's suppose you already aware about your assessment you can skip that part as well let's go next and here we are selecting the tool for the actual migration I have selected this native tool okay and here it has been uh, mentioned what all are the supported workloads Hyper-V, VMware, physical machines or other public clouds okay. we have already covered those parts and next and you can create your assessment okay so let me close this and once the assessment is created you'll see these two blades just like that and you need to click on discover once you hit the discover you would have the options that if you have done the ASR then you already are aware about these options we have the option with VMware vSphere hypervisor and Hyper-V and not virtualized let me tell you guys I don't have Hyper-V and VMware so what I did I have created two machines in Azure and we are assuming these machines are the physical machines so that we can actually do the demonstration pretending like these are the physical machines but you know we'll get the feel how actually it happens okay and the same thing is there in the Hyper-V and VMware. There's a little this and that. Otherwise, the same thing. So let's understand the process. Uh, and you would be able to do it in Hyper-V and VMware. So if you do Hyper-V VMware, 
you see here you need to download the azure migrate appliance that we talked about during our theoretical concept see azure migrate appliance so this is what we download from here if you choose hyper-v we still have the same thing and if you choose physical it has changed now now we have a zip file okay that is a 50 MB and we have installer inside it and this will help us to register our migrate appliance which is in zip file to talk to the migrates migration services in Azure that is Azure migrate project that we have okay so let me open one of my VM it is right here and this is the same lab that I'm working in so we what we did here under downloads I have downloaded this zip file I have extracted this zip file if you open it we have a dot ps1 installer you have to run this okay and it will go take you through the process of prerequisite and registering and setting up the credentials that we uh, do when we configure the you know config server in ASR those kind of steps similar to those not exactly but similar to those so let me take you through those steps okay all right so once you open it this is what happens you have to understand this this works on your local host 44368 if you cannot open it directly you can go here and it will come up this this page where you have to meet the prerequisites and under prerequisite let's see what we have it will check the internet connectivity time in sync with the internet time server and the latest Azure migrate updates are installed or not if not you can click right here and it will take care of that part then the second step is physical server details here we will add the credentials that we need uh, OS type windows I have given the name migrate credentials and add the credentials so that it can go ahead and discover for discovery of physical servers in your environment okay <clears throat> now you can add physical server for discovery now here we need to do this manually and these steps we need not to do in Hyper-V and VMware when we deploy that agent appliance in the vCenter host but here we need to do it manually I have wrote these IP address manually and provided the credentials okay then it will go and uh, with the help of these IPs it will connect to the servers and start its discovery okay <coughs> All right, this is what it is and here I have also installed the agents MMA agents and uh, discovery agents so this is what it is showing right here once this part is done it will register itself with the uh, uh, Azure migrate project and once it is registered you need to give it some time and it will start sending data to the Azure I'll show you let's get back here let me minimize this now here on this page this is what we have if you click on the discovered servers you will find it has it has started sending data and you would have all the two servers that test VM1 test VM2 these are the two servers that I have created you can see here in my lab I have created test VM2 this is the IP address 1.5 and we have test VM1 acting as a physical servers 1.4 this is what I have mentioned in the uh, you have seen in the discovery page with the credentials right so it has discovered both the machines now once the VMs are there 
these are the dependency agents that I was saying I have installed MMA and the other agent to see the dependency it depends if you're interested only then you can go and install if you are okay you're aware about your configuration then it is fine let me show you where these agents are this is the deep down install dependency agent and this is the Azure migrate no not this one but this one MMA agent Azure migrate appliance configuration server this is different this is this is what it is yes so these two agents I have installed that you can find from here for the dependencies if you click here you can see all the dependency because these agents will start sending data to you so that you you will be aware where all these machines are talking to okay <clears throat> so once these machines are uh, here in your discovered servers you can create a group out of it okay so I have selected these two and gave it a name and already created as a group one once it is created you need to click on create assessments and you need to give the name of your assessment and you need to select a group or create one these are the two machines I have done that part I have given it a, let me show you what I have done if I come here these are the two discovered servers this is the one group that I have created I have given it a name group one okay <clears throat> and here is the assessment that I have created I have given the name SS one group one you can see the status is ready there are two machines this is the location sizing criteria is performance based okay we talked about the sizing criteria here if you remember performance based as on-prem and <clears throat> where can we see that let me under the assessment all right and here is the confidence rating right now it is single star it takes time for the performance base you gotta wait and once all the data will start coming to the uh, migration services the rating will start increasing okay I have just finished this it, it, it's not long that's why it's showing only one star so let me go back and click on discover okay not discover I'm sorry assessment click here see this is the assessment report where it says Azure readiness ready for Azure 2 ready with condition 0 not ready for Azure we covered this part right now it's the monthly estimate that you need to pay in the Azure you can get this information like that okay operating system so suggested tool and everything <clears throat> if you go and edit the properties of the assessment here under VM size we have as on premises and performance based these are the target properties when you create your assessment the target location the storage type and the reserved instances those kind of information pricing information VM series all information that you need to select for your assessment <clears throat> and once it is done you can see all the data and this is assessment you can export the assessment if you need to present it in your uh, to your customer or your uh, your seniors so that they can approve it so that's how the assessment is done <clears throat> if I need to summarize this we all know we need to create let's get back to our this we need to create uh, a project then need to deploy the appliance need to give it a time it will send data to you and you need to create the assessment after the data now that assessment could be performance based on-prem based and it will give you a report where you can analyze the assessment and work accordingly okay well this is what it is as of now and in next video we'll do the migration we have done the assessment now it's time to do the migration well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye bye